welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is China Racine, and if you're new here, welcome to episode three of my student loan debt repayment series. Yes, and we are making so much progress. I am so excited to be making this third payment, but uh, let's do a quick recap because what kind of progress for those of you who are new? I owed over $41,000 in student loan debt. And after making two payments last month, $1,600, we are down to $40,298.93. And I'm so excited. Anyways, TikTok will have you listening to stuff and doing dances. And it's just like, sometimes you need to pull back because it's a distraction, which we will touch on later as an encouragement. So welcome to episode three. Um, today, I really wanted to hop on here real quick to encourage you guys to encourage myself and to make this third payment. So let's get into it. As a result of paying off these student loan debts, first of all, I get an email. I think that was what, Saturday? Yeah, like Saturday, Friday, Saturday. I get an email saying that um, your loans are paid in full. Literally, loans paid in full. Okay, loans paid in full. So I get this email and I'm like, wait, what? Did someone watch this video and pay off my student loans? Like, God, really? So of course I click on it and it's the loan that I paid off like two weeks ago, like federal loan servicing government, whoever, why are you guys, like, why are you playing with my emotions like that? I'm like, did Biden announce something and I didn't catch it? Because I guess maybe they update things at the end of the month or the beginning of the month. I'm not sure because that was really late, in my opinion. So that was a whole moment for me. I had to pull it back together. Like, OK, mm -mm, China, don't let that distract you. Um, but I got another email that totally made up for that. And it let me know that my credit score has increased. Okay, so to elaborate a little bit more about the credit situation, I don't want to leave you guys in total suspense. My credit score went up by six points, and now I'm at 836. Yes, 836. As far as the credit score thing, like I really wanted to share that with you guys, um, a video on how I got here and, you know, my top tips. So be on the lookout for that real soon. Make sure you hit the reminder bell, hit that bell button so that you can be notified when I post or upload my next video. Okay, now it's time for a little encouragement. So I found that when you're in pursuit of something, when you're pursuing anything, there are things, people, etc etc that can distract you that can try to distract you that can try to slow you down that can kind of hinder you or cause you to lose focus so when you are distracted and depending on what your distraction is and how long you allow yourself to be distracted nine times out of ten you will feel a little bit discouraged once you sit down if you sit down and evaluate how you've been spending your time if you reflect on hey what have I been doing with my time have I been scrolling on you know Instagram or Facebook or you know or binge watching some of everything because <laughs> there are so many things to watch like really you really have to managing time management skills is so crucial and critical even when it comes to how you spend your time outside of what you do to make a living. Um, and naturally, it's important to have some downtime, right? But sometimes we can overindulge in the downtime. We can spend too much time down. Like, think about it. At a plant, if the line goes down, no cars are being built. So if it's too much downtime, you know, the, the line is gonna stop, the production stops, and people are idle. Too much downtime is not good because it's wasted resources. How about that? Those resources aren't really being put to work. Um, and so you just have to try to find a balance that's fit for you. For me, it's minimal. And that's not really good, right? So you need a balance. You really do need a balance. 
Um, but I just want to encourage you guys, whatever your goal is, whatever you're working towards um, in life, to make sure that you stay focused and that you just try to manage your time as best as you can and that you know you are making sure that you're running your race doing what you're supposed to be doing and running your race with endurance because it's easy to get distracted it's easy to get discouraged and you're not always going to have cheerleaders in the background okay cheering you on you have to learn how to encourage yourself to hold yourself accountable so to speak if you don't have some sort of accountability so let's get into this word and then we're going to make our payment okay so uh book of hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 we might read a little bit further but i do recommend that you guys check it out for yourselves therefore since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us let us fix our eyes on jesus the author and perfecter of our faith it's basically saying you know run your race with endurance fix your eyes on jesus because if he's in front of you you don't have to feel like oh i'm behind billy jane jake and robert let's get into this third payment oh did i say so this third payment is going to be for 1900 dollars after i did the budget uh that was the best number to do this week so i'm so grateful to god that we're able to do this and i'm so excited for the progress that we've made and the progress that we're gonna make and let's get into this third payment Hey y'all. All right, we're ready to make this third payment. I've already taken the liberty of logging in. As you can see, that is my name. I am not in a fake account. This is my account. And so you guys should already know the whole logging in process. So I just wanted to jump here. As you can see, the last payment uh, that I made or that we made is for $400 on 927. I've already taken the liberty of doing this calculation. Hence, you can see it on the side. And so we have been targeting specific loans and so um, mostly just tackling the smallest one and working our way up. So the smallest one currently is for $592.78 and then the second smallest is $1507.74. So we're going to be making payments on these two. Okay, so the amounts are in, but that is not correct. So let's fix that. We're not going to overpay. They don't need our extra money. Okay, so $592.78 will pay this one off. That's all the way, that's from 2013. And then, um, yeah, because it's since interest is not accruing right now, I don't really care that this one is older uh, because there's no interest accruing right now. So it could just get paid back um, at another time. So this one will obviously get paid off uh, before this month is over. So within the next uh, week, week and a half, we'll pay this one all the way off. But um, it has updated. Thank you for the confirmation. $1,900 is the total. And uh, then we see what the next ones will be tackling. So excitement going down. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we're going to select today as the payment date, which is the 12th. It is at 2.05 a.m. Yes, I am up right now. Okay, so the 12th, uh, so that we won't change our minds, which we won't because our minds are made up. And then I'm just going to select the account, and then we will get a confirmation. All right, just so you guys can see that we bought that life. I'm not showing you our account information because I'm not crazy. But let's verify and submit that payment. And... The $1,900 payment has been made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's that confirmation. Yes, we are decreasing debt. We're making progress. And it feels amazing. All right, y'all. Let's fill this out. 
for the third time, officially the third time. I've already taken the liberty to fill a few things in because that takes time that we don't need to be wasting or spending. So I'm just gonna fill in a few things and the amount. So today, $12,900 paid. And I'll do initials because I need to make sure that there's room for my husband on here so that he can be totally informed and aware of what's going on. So he, you know, could be in the loop. But <gasps> All right, y'all. Now we're down to $38,398.93. My husband took the liberty of initialing before we even made the payment because he already knows what's up. But yes. Okay, y'all, keep going. Throw off all things that hinders this week, uh, next week. Always stay focused, manage your time, manage your finances, and continue to run your race with endurance. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified when I post a new video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, y'all.